investigations of um, dynamical properties of laser with incorporated DBR section under the influence of external optical feedback. And this work is done together with my postgraduate student, and uh, I hope he is present here. And uh, okay, the outline of my talk I investigated setup, motivation, equations, results, feedback sensitivity, bifurcation analysis, and conclusions. A distributed uh, Bragg reflector laser represents a simple realization of semiconductor laser operating in a single longitudinal mode. Naturally, they operate at wavelengths close to the maximum of DBR reflectivity, and the presence of DBR causes a renormalization of parameters, photon lifetime, alpha factor, coupling rate, and feedback phase in the Lankobayashi equation for semiconductor laser subject to uh, external optical uh, <clears throat> feedback. A well-established formula for estimating the feedback tolerance is modeled for the tuning DBR laser. And <clears throat> for the first time, we did a bifurcation analysis of Lanco-Bayashi equation, um, which confirms the modified uh, formula. Um, here, I show the <clears throat> um, laser itself. A distributed Bragg reflector is here, with, uh, is connected with active region, and uh, <clears throat> such uh, device are operating naturally at wavelengths close to the maximum DBR reflectivity, where the threshold is minimal. We placed a mirror at the distance uh, L, around 60 centimeters from the front facet of the laser. Lambda L is the emission wavelength of the solitary laser, and <clears throat> uh, Phi is the external phase, and R is the reflectivity of uh, this uh, mirror. Here, I included the parameters. Okay, they will appear in the uh, paper, all these uh, parameters. And uh, <clears throat> you see the reflectivity spectrum of DBR section, which is this line. And if you see for uh, <clears throat> different lengths, uh, we have some accessible tuning range, which is limited by this um, uh, range in the case of uh, one millimeter or uh, 0 0.5 millimeter, one millimeter, and three millimeter. Um, <clears throat> sol solid magnet, as I said, is a reflectivity of DBR section, and it, it has the following uh, formula. And um, <clears throat> the dotted threshold is uh, given the uh, gain with given laser frequency omega L. Okay, next one, uh, we present a so far missing theoretical study how DBR laser reflection tolerance depends on the detuning between laser wavelengths and maximum of DBR reflectivity. We found that uh, such uh, a treatment, not, uh, it is not presented in literature and uh, we uh, did such an uh, investigation. It is well known that too strong optical feedback can destabilize the laser, causing unwanted pulsation, uh, multiple atraxus, or coherent collapse, or even chaos. Uh, <clears throat> we uh, can estimate uh, the critical feedback strengths from the well-known helms Peterman formula, which is here, and the relaxation with oscillation becomes undated at this uh, threshold. The left hind um, side of um, this formula is the effective feedback rate with the power reflectivity R, which is here, and we can obtain easily, analytically, the formula for um, reflectivity of feedback R beyond uh, which instability uh, occurs. And um, good for weak feedback, no DBR parameters enters in this formula. We uh, look for Lankobayashi equation, which is presented here. Only the difference with many, many of papers which were presented before us is that this parameter, alpha, tau, t, eta, on phi, they are constant. In our case, all these parameters, they are not any more constant, but they depend on, <clears throat> uh, assuming that the detuning, DBR laser with feedback is also described by these equations. Now, we consider the extra including of detuning, which is here, and uh, we look for ex external cavity modes, and um, we introduce 
the stationary value for omega s and ns have the full value here, uh, where the following formula represent a renormalization of the coefficients in the lang kobayashi equations. As I said, in our case, all these four uh, parameters, they depend uh, on the detuning. And here we obtain the <clears throat> how uh, these, par these parameters depends on the detuning. And here are the values for these parameters. The influence of brake reflector is considered in this um, uh, uh, parameter tau uh, uh, with kappa. Uh, if tau kappa is equal to zero, one can easily obtain exactly the when no coefficients for a fabri laser with lens LR, because these formula are well known before uh, we uh, publish this uh, paper, our paper. Now let's look how <coughs> these parameters uh, depends on the detuning, on the detuning. And you see here that for um, uh, um, Constant detuning, the value of alpha is equal 1.2. This is a dotted line. When we change the length of the active region, the length of uh, the alpha factor, it uh, depends on the detuning. And it strongly depends on the negative detuning, which is shown here. The value uh, goes from 1.2 up to 7. Next parameter is tau p, photon lifetime. and it also depends on the detuning and also on the length of the active region. And eta, which is um, feedback strength, depends strongly on this uh, detuning. And um, <clears throat> uh, just to mention that the dotted lines are for well known Fabri Perot lasers. Okay, we look for the stationary states, which are, as I mentioned, are called external cavity modes. We consider perturbant field, and um, <clears throat> we insert ansatz into the Lankobayashi equation, and uh, this one uh, goes to first order amplitude equations. The equation, we uh, solve these uh, equations, only we can consider, uh, we introduce a new phase, which includes the external phase and other changes of the phase due to the reflection. And um, uh, we uh, look for non trivial solution require vanishing of the system of determinant of this matrix. And um, we found that uh, for zero detuning, we got these uh, two uh, station, uh, stations here. Next, we look for <coughs> the stability analysis. And um, this is very important when you, your laser is operating, you have to know in which regime it is operating. And here is uh, by yellow, we see uh, this uh, calculation was done by a program which we have uh, here at the Technical University, DDBF tool. And uh, we got the yellow region, this is a stable mode. Uh, the green is unstable. This means we will have some periodical solution, period doubling, or even chaos here in this green region. And also, we have some region where the antimods are uh, present. Antimods, uh, this means uh, that there is, you cannot see on your screen anything. Only you will see this uh, region uh, even stable or unstable uh, region. Um, here in this figure, we look for the influence of the tuning on the stability limits, and um, we compare the dotted and solid line from bifurcation analysis, DBF tool of the Lankobayashi uh, equations coefficients, and dash dotted is estimated from this uh, previous formula. And you see that in the range where, um, in, in, in some range, there is a very good agreement between uh, two uh, theories. And uh, <clears throat> uh, we see also that for very long feedback, not 60 centimeter, but 1.8 meter, we have an agreement, uh, very nice agreement be between uh, these theories. Um, next one is um, we look for the critical feedback reflectivity per parameter different from standard and feedback tolerance 
we found up to 40% um, uh, have been, uh, which was reported in this uh, recently in this paper. And this one was uh, proved in our calculation. We, we got the same 40% of um, uh, critical feedback reflectivities. And this is a, a good way that um, our uh, simulations are uh, almost close to what uh, was uh, obtained in the experiment. We also look for the stability uh, analysis of uh, stationary states, and um, we um, presented here stable external cavity modes um, by green line, unstable external cavity modes by, um, uh, by uh, blue, and also we show here the saddle node bifurcation, hop bifurcation, and, and uh, so on. Uh, this figure allowed us to, to look for a um, region where the stable mode are um, uh, present. Uh, next one is to look how the, uh, um, the stability analysis influences the length of the active region. And we learned that um, for 0 0.5, for, uh, 0 .5, uh, millimeter device, the region of instability is um, very uh, large. And for three millimeter devices, the region of instability disappears. And this one is agree with the <clears throat> experiment which uh, was done at the Ferdinand Brown Institute. Um, in conclusion, theoretical study on how the detuning between the lasing reflex and the maximum reflectivity of break section influences the tolerance of DBR laser against external reflection is presented. The presence of DBR causes a renormalization of the parameter. Bifurcation analysis um, it shows that for long feedback, um, we can confirm the helms petterman formula in applying the normalization we could reach a very large stability border near 1% by drastically reducing the coupling cost. We regard the existence of wide region of instability for negative detuning, and this is done due to the <clears throat> higher values of alpha, par, uh, alpha parameters. There is, uh, this results of the possibility of reflection tolerant communication with cheap and compact EBR laser. Uh, when I presented the laser uh, from Nature Photonics paper, uh, these lasers are very <clears throat> uh, cost, cost, very higher cost, but our lasers, which soon will be realized at the Ferdinand Brown Institute in Berlin, are very low, uh, have uh, the very low price. I acknowledge the project, uh, uh, my project at the Technical University of Moldova, which is uh, uh, financed by um, uh, ANICD. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you, Professor Troncho.